Hi, third graders. Happy Wednesday. Today for math, we're going to be working with just addition and subtraction, but we're going to be working with data from tables. So I'm going to go through an example with you today to show you what our work is going to look like. So here I have a restaurant owner looked at how many customers the restaurant had in the past five months. So here I have my restaurant customers, my months, and the number of customers each month. And as you can see from our language arts that we are going over, we have the abbreviation of our months. Remember the first letter is capitalized and there's always a period. So it's we're adding a little combination of language arts and math. So right here, this is the month, the number of customers, month, number of customers. So we're trying to see how many more customers did the restaurant have in March than in December? So we have to think, are we gonna be using addition or subtraction? So if they're asking for the total amount of customers, then we would use addition. But they wanna know how many more came than one month. So that means we're gonna use subtraction. So when we use addition, it's mainly gonna be if they're asking for the total numbers, we're adding something together. But here, they're asking the difference. So we're gonna use subtraction. So how many more customers did the restaurant have in March than in December? So I'm gonna come here, here is March, here is December. So they wanna know, here they had a lot of customers come. So how many more came here this month than this month? So of course, I'm gonna write my biggest month, my biggest number, cause March, because that's what they're asking. So 8,472, and I'm subtracting the December month, which is 3,327. So I lined it up, my ones are matching, my tens, my hundreds, and my thousands are matching. So now we're going to subtract. So if I have two up top and I wanna take away seven, I can't take seven away from two, I don't have enough fingers, so I have to, you guessed it, borrow. So I'm taking one from the 10, so if I take one from seven, it turns into six, and this turns into 12. So 12 minus seven. So what's easiest for me is counting up from seven to 12. If it helps, you can draw pictures on the side. You could draw 12 lines like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Well, let me scoot it over. And then I'm gonna cross out seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many are left? One, two, three, four, five. So it's whatever way makes you feel comfortable is the best way for subtraction. So then I go to my tens place. I have six minus two. So I can put six on all my fingers. So that's what I'm going to use for this subtraction. I'm going to take six fingers and take away two. I'm left with four fingers. So then here I have four moving to my hundreds. Four and minus three, so I have four, and I take away three, one, two, three. I'm left with one, and then I have eight, take away three. So I have eight, and I take away three, and I'm left with five. So there are 5,145 customers. So 5,145 customers came more in March than in December. So make sure to take your time and remember in these problems when they're asking for the total or in all, we're gonna use addition. But when they're asking for the difference, how many more customers did the restaurant have in March than December, then we're gonna use subtraction. And make sure to have a piece of paper with you so you can also write out your problems. All right, have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye third grade.